Today's episode of Celebrating Science focuses on the pioneering efforts of botanist and photographer Anna Atkins. Born in 1799, she had a rigorous scientific education thanks to her father. She was also a talented artist and created illustrations for various scientific works. She was particularly interested in botany and collected and dried plant specimens. In 1842, a new process called cyanotyping was created that used chemically treated papers that would react with bright sunlight to capture an image of objects resting on the paper. This process intrigued Atkins and she created a series of prints of dried algae. Her book, Photographs of British Algae Cyanotype Impressions, was published in 1843. It is widely considered the first published book to be illustrated with photographs. Anna Atkins would go on to publish two volumes in the British LG series, as well as collections of botanical cyanotypes. Only 17 copies of any of her published books remain today. The collection was donated to the British Museum in 1865, and Anna Atkins died in 1871 at the age of 72. If you would like to learn more about Anna Atkins and cyanotypes, check out this book, The Bluest of Blues, or create your own cyanotypes. Cyanotypes, also called sun prints today, are a wonderful way to incorporate art into your nature exploration. To create your own prints, you'll need a packet of sun print paper, a sunny day without too much wind, and clean water to stop the reaction when you're happy with your print. You can also try a simple version with dark colored construction paper. Simply lay your objects on the paper and let them sit in the sun. Thank you for joining us today for this episode of Celebrating Science.